हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ एशा के जोशी लेक्चरर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट बीपीएमपी पॉलीटेक्निक माय सब्जेक्ट इज एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स यूनिट नेम इज नेगेटिव फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर्स एंड माय टॉपिक इज करंट शंट फीडबैक सो अवर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू एनालाइज द करंट शंट फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर सर्किट एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड द सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ करंट शंट फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर करंट शंट फीडबैक दिस इज द सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ करंट शंट फीडबैक फिगर शोज द कैस्केडेड कनेक्शन ऑफ टू ट्रांसिस्टर विथ फीडबैक फ्रॉम द ए मीटर ऑफ सेकेंड ट्रांसिस्टर टू द बेस ऑफ फर्स्ट वन थ्रू द रेजिस्टर आर एफ सो हियर देर आर टू ट्रांसिस्टर क्यू वन and q2 and this is the cascaded connection of two transistor with feedback from the emitter of second transistor to the base of first transistor through the resistor rf by shorting the output voltage but the feedback voltage is not zero but if the output current i o is set to zero by open circuit in the output loop then feedback will be equal to zero hence this is a current sample and as the feedback signal is in parallel or shunt with the output this is the current shunt feedback so this is about circuit diagram of current shunt feedback now let us analyze current shunt feedback So to analyze current shunt feedback, let us first draw the block diagram of current shunt feedback. so here this is amplifier circuit a is equal to i o upon i in this is the input here is the output this is the feedback circuit i f of a i out so here in this circuit the feedback network picks up a part of output current and produces a feedback voltage in parallel with the input signal voltage and since the feedback network is in shunt with the amplifier on input side the input impedance is reduced and feedback uh, with the feedback whereas output impedance increase because the feedback network is in series with the output so here in output it is in series and in input the feedback signal is in shunt so here we will connect it in shunt so this is in shunt and output side it is in series so this is our output so this is the block diagram of current shunt feedback so as the feedback signal is in shunt in the input side the input impedance is reduced whereas the output impedance is increased because feedback network is in series with the output now let us analyze this input and output impedance so first we will derive input impedance
so we have i s is equal to i i plus i f i s is equal to i i this is the input current and plus i f feedback current as we know here from this equation this i f is equal to beta i o so putting this value of i f in this equation we will get i s is equal to i i plus beta i o but from this equation we can write i o is equal to a into i i so putting the value of i o in this equation we can write this equation as i s is equal to i i plus beta a i sorry a i now i i taking i i as a common term 1 plus a beta now as we know the input impedance with the feedback circuit the equation of input impedance with feedback circuit zif is equal to vi upon is so from this equation we can put the value of is in this equation zif is equal to vi upon ii 1 plus a beta so z i f is equal to as we know vi upon i i b upon i is the equation of impedance the input impedance z i so in place of vi upon i i we can write z i upon 1 plus a beta so from this equation we can say that in current shunt feedback circuit the input impedance decreases by 1 plus a beta factor so this is about input impedance now let us analyze the output impedance output impedance so to calculate output impedance we have i is equal to i o minus a v i sorry i o plus a v i but we have v i is equal to minus v f so putting the value of v i in this equation i is equal to i o minus a v f but we know that the value of v f we have the value of v f is equal to beta v o and i is equal to v o upon z o so putting the value of this equation putting the value of vf in this equation we will get i is equal to i o minus a beta v o okay so here we can write i is equal to i o minus a beta i o in this equation it is current sampling so we can write i is equal to i o minus a beta i o so therefore i is equal to putting the value of i o this equation will become v o upon z o minus a beta i o therefore v o upon z o is equal to if this term comes this side then it will become like i plus a beta i o since from this equation we can write i o is equal to i 
and VO is equal to V, we can write this equation like V upon ZO is equal to I plus A beta I. So, V upon ZO taking the I term common I 1 plus A beta. So, V upon I is equal to ZO 1 plus A beta. And as we know, this is the equation of in, um, output impedance. We can write, as we know, VO is equal to V and IO is equal to I. We can write VO in place of V and IO in place of I. So, VO upon IO is equal to ZO 1 plus A beta. So, VO upon IO is equal to ZOF. As we know, this is the equation of output impedance. We can write this equation like ZOF is equal to ZO1 plus A beta. So, this is the final equation from we can say that in current shunt feedback circuit, the output impedance increases by factor 1 plus A beta. So, in case of current shunt feedback circuit, the input impedance decreases by 1 plus A beta factor and the output impedance increases by 1 plus A beta factor. So, this is about current shunt feedback amplifier circuit. Thank you. Thank you.